So now we need to find data values from a normal distribution, not probability or percent or area, but a specific data value. And so at the end of section 6.2, we actually practice going backwards using the standard normal table. In those cases, we had to find the z-score based on some sort of known area or probability or percent. So now we're going to do the same thing, but the way our questions will be asked is to find the top percent or a bottom percent or some sort of middle percent. And so here's an example of a question. Find the z-score separating the top 10% of the standard normal curve from the bottom 90. Now, normally the question would just give you one piece of that. It would just say find the z-score for the top 10% or find the z-score for the bottom 90%. Because if our whole curve has to be 100%, then for any given line, the two percentages needed to add up to 100. And so in this case, if I have the top 10%, it shares a wall with the bottom 90%. Remembering that our table finds area to the left, that means that I want to look up the 90%. So I'm going to be looking up 0.9000 for 90% in the middle of the table. And I cut out a section of the table here for you. Remember, I normally, you know, start, the numbers are way too small, way too small. Oh my god, i got to go over to the positive z-scores. Oh yeah, I knew my line was somewhere to the right of zero, so actually I should have started by looking at positive z-scores. And then a lot of times I'm still bouncing around, way too small, way too big, still too big, too small, until I finally find a spot where one number's too small and one number's too big my particular value would be somewhere right in between too small and too big. So then I need to decide which number it's closer to. The one that's too small was 0 .0003 away, and the number that was too big is 0 .0015 away. So the number that was too small would be a little bit closer to where I want to be, so that's what I'm going to choose to use. And I read to the left and top edges to find my z-score. And I find that the z-score is 1.28. So going back over here looking at the picture, that it's at 1.28. Now I happen to draw the line between 1 and 2 because I knew where it was going to be. Sometimes my line will be way far over and I'm like, there's no way that's 1.28 or too close to the middle. But my point is received. So to answer the question, the top 10% of the standard normal curve starts at 1.2 standard deviations above average. Same thing as saying a z-score of 1.28.